Hi, good morning. My name is Jason Johansson. I'm the homicide lieutenant with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. I'm here to brief you on a homicide investigation we're currently conducting at the apartment complex located directly behind me at the 3300 block of South Arville. This is in the area of Arville and Spring Mountain Road in our Spring Valley Area Command. Earlier today at approximately 5.54 a.m., officers from Spring Valley Area Command were dispatched to an apartment located in this park complex behind me, referenced a battery that was occurring inside of an apartment. As officers arrived on scene, they located a female who directed them to her apartment. As officers went into that apartment, they located her victim, who's a male in his 20s, who was unconscious and appeared to have been battered inside the apartment. Officers immediately began providing medical aid to that subject until medical arrived here on scene. Shortly after medical arrived, transport him to University Medical Center, where unfortunately he was pronounced deceased. Based on those details, our homicide section has responded. We've taken over this investigation. The preliminary details we have are extremely limited at this point in time, but what we know is that the, uh, the male victim was inside the apartment with a girl that he was on, uh, dating. At some point in time, her ex-boyfriend came over to the house. Uh, there, was a, uh, there was a disagreement, an altercation that occurred just inside the apartment door, and uh, during that altercation, it turned physical, which ultimately resulted in the victim's death. The suspect, uh, who I'm still getting a definitive description on what he looks like, so I will not be providing that at this time, uh, then left the apartment shortly, at, shortly around the time of the 911 call southbound on Arville from this location, from what, what we're being told. Uh, those are the preliminary details that we know at this time. I encourage anyone with any information related to this investigation, please reach out to the Crime Stoppers of Nevada or to the LVMPD homicide section. With that, I'll take any additional questions you may have. Was it like his apartment as well or just her apartment when he was visiting? At this time, we only believe it's her apartment, but we're still establishing who has residency in this specific apartment. Was there any kind of weapon used? Uh, at this time, we have no indication of a weapon that was used in this incident. How about the kind of uh, in the injuries that he was suffering from? Did it look like blunt force? Kind of yeah, it, the typical injuries you'd get from being in a fight, like uh, uh, blunt force trauma m more than anything. So. In his 20s, a male in his 20s. Did you say his ethnicity is Hispanic? I did not. I normally don't give that out, but he's a black male. Do you have any indication that he was welcome here or that he was just, you know, invited in any kind of way or this was just his ex-girlfriend and he was dropping by? Which person specifically? The suspect. Uh, from my understanding, the suspect does not live here, uh, but it's, at some point in time, it sounds like he possibly might have lived here. How right. well can the public tell if he's got your information? What other... I, the, the biggest thing is anybody in the area who either witnessed anything, saw anything, or has any prior interactions with people related to the apartment inside the complex, please reach out to us, provide us that information. Sorry. She's cooperating, cooperating with investigators and she's here on scene. And did you say suspect is, is, is in custody? The suspect is outstanding. It was last seen leaving the area southbound. I'm not giving us a description out right now because I'm not firm on what the description is. I'm getting conflicting stories. So last seen leaving the area heading south on Arbel? Correct. Okay. At this time, that's all we're aware of. We're being advised there might be a second male involved, but we haven't been able to confirm that information at this time. That's what we're being told, yes. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day.